Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. My name is Koda if you don't know me and if you do know me then welcome back. So today I'm finally getting the opportunity to really just talk to you guys while I do my makeup. You know we're doing another get ready with me. It is one of my friend's birthday she's turning 20 so this is a big milestone for her um we've grown up together since elementary school like that's that's my girl that's my girl um she literally lives right down the street um but yeah we've been friends for a long time and i'm just gonna have a great night and celebrate her birthday with her My midterms are finally over, thank god, because this school year, like, I just feel like I'm not as interested in my classes, which is very sad for me to even say because I've always been an academic, like I've always loved school, loved learning, I like doing the assignments, like the only thing that I didn't like about school growing up was um like waking up early <laughs> and like some of my other classmates but besides that like i liked the learning aspect i liked building connections with my teachers and just like even the satisfaction of putting a lot of work into something and being able to see um that that is being recognized um was always something that i could get down with with school but this year i feel like my courses, I'm, I, there's one class that I really love, but besides that, like I'm really struggling to actually love what I'm learning, which is really sad because it makes it so much harder for you to be able to do the work or want to do the work. I'm still gonna do the work and I have been, but it's hard to like want to do it and get the motivation in that sense. So I'm still doing the work. It just makes school dreadful and it's a little sad not being able to have the same love for school this year as I've always had. It's so weird because I've always looked forward to school. School gives me a very nice basis of structure. That's the main thing. I also like learning, making connections with people. Um, I like having a routine. I like having things to do and being able to check them off and accomplishing things. And I this year it just feels like Oh, I have to go to class. Oh, I have to go to school. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do that. Like, I'm not... Yeah. I think that's mostly it for school, but I've been doing well. I've just been really feeling like I really need to get my love for school back, but it's hard um, given the current circumstances. I'm seeing Learn Hell next week, which is very exciting. Uh, that won't even be a get ready with me. Simply because I have school that day, I didn't even realize that yeah, anyways, I have class that day, so I'm literally going to class and going to Lauren Hill within the next 30 minutes uh, because it just doesn't make sense for me to come back home just because of where I live. Like, it just makes sense to just stay down there, you know? Lauren Hill will be my last concert. I don't have any others coming up, and I really do feel like I've seen a lot of the artists that I really love. Like, I'm not really, like, fiending to go to concerts as I used to because... I've seen majority of my favorite artists now. Um, so that's kind of, that's a flex. That's a flex. Shout out me. <laughs> Mentally, I've been, <sighs> there's just a lot. There's a lot. Um, and I always try to remind myself that whatever it is that I'm going through is temporary and that um, I can't dwell on things, focus on the present while allowing myself to still feel whatever things I feel and letting those things pass. It's just hard to let things pass when they're disrupt or they seem to be disrupting you. But they're only disrupting me because I'm giving them the power to. But the point is, 
this is yeah <laughs> it's hard to like talk about things without giving complete context because i'm sure that as you guys watch this you're like what is she even talking about um but yeah i always around this time of year like as the weather drops and stuff i feel um like more depressive thoughts but i've always not always been able to fight that let me not lie to y'all but last year i was able to like get on top of it before it got into something that i felt like i didn't have control over or i just or before i got to a place where it was so much harder to get out of like just getting on, on top of things and just you know actively trying not to get to a place that i know can happen given a certain amount of given a certain circumstance so i've been actively working on that and it's been hard this year is just very different um yeah i don't know i don't know it's like i, I turned 20 and like <laughs> yeah um, I also wanted to talk about uh, music because music, as you guys know, music is basically the basis of my channel. I started my channel talking about my love for music. My most um, viewed and loved videos are my videos about music. So much of me is about music and music plays such an important role in my life. But I have noticed, and I hate to admit this, because I used to never like want to believe that that is true, but the music that I allow myself to consume plays such a big role on my overall mood and even just like the way that my, my day is gonna go. I think that now I'm trying more actively to be present and accept silence, like on public transit i'm so quick to just like put in my headphones and just like block out everything or even just block out my thoughts and not give myself the opportunity to actually reflect and think if i don't feel like i'm like if i don't want that i will just block it out okay and don't think that's healthy <laughs> so i've been forcing myself to embrace silence and not always drown out my thoughts or drown out the world with whatever it is I'm listening to and even still the music that I listen to plays a huge role in um my day like even subconsciously um just the music that you play they manifest in ways that maybe you may not even be able to see um so I've been switching what I wake myself up with I think the first few minutes of when you wake up can determine a lot at least for me so i've been switching to listening to i used to always listen to frequencies in the morning and i stopped but i've been going back to listening to frequencies in the morning i've been starting my day with gospel or inspirational music um i listen to cleo soul she's literally cleo soul has been my girl from time okay i'm so glad that she's finally being recognized for the talent that she is um but her music is just so comforting. Her most recent uh, two albums that she dropped, she dropped Gold and she dropped Heaven. Heaven, um, I, Gold is more of a gospel um, project in my opinion and it just resonated with me a lot. When I first heard it, I was bawling my eyes out, crying. Um, but it was such a beautiful experience because not only did it resonate with me, but it's healing compared to some other music that I'm listening to, like while it's fun and I like it, like I'm not actively paying attention to what subliminals I may be inviting into my conscious mind. And that is a problem because then those things start to manifest itself because not only am I listening to this music, I'm also repeating these words and saying them as if they are affirmative words of my life. So I've been actively trying to work on what music I consume. Not saying that I'm not gonna listen to the other music that I like that may be, I guess, lower vibrational. I don't wanna say that. I don't wanna say low vibrational, but that's, for lack of better words, low vibrational music. Um, 
I'm still gonna listen to that because it's still fun. Like it still makes me want to turn up and like have fun and I'm still gonna listen to those songs. But I think that it comes a point when I guess I have to pay attention to how much of the lyrics I'm like inviting into myself. I hope that this makes sense. I am going to Florida in December for Christmas. I'm very excited. My cousins live in Florida. I, living away from my family and my cousins, especially my cousins that I'm closest with, is so hard for me because I love my family. My cousins and I are so close. Um, even though we didn't grow, like my cousins, they had moved away when I was young. So we would just see each other every like so often, not as often as we maybe would have liked to, but like, being so far away from them, like the toll that it has taken is crazy. I miss my family so much. I'm so excited to see them. Um, and I've been craving like this need to just get out of where I've been because I think at a certain point you feel enclosed. Like I can only grow so much in the same space. I need to expand. I think that taking a break for a while may be able to give me the opportunity to come back with a completely different, like, not completely different, but just like, I need some time away, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> but I'm also, I can't go this whole video without talking about this, but I hit 500 subscribers um, maybe about a week ago now, and that is so crazy to me. Like, I just, I love making videos. I love editing videos. I love creating content and being able to document the moments that I have in my life. Being able to look back on my old vlogs, look at my old content, having a time cap capsule of a certain period of my life. I think it's just the most beautiful thing ever. And I love making videos. So to have um, 500 supporters is a very big deal. So thank you for watching my videos and supporting me and being a part of a community that is bound to grow. I don't know why I started getting ready so fast. Like I did my makeup very quickly. I don't know why I thought it was gonna take me forever. Ooh, every time I do black liner. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm going to get dressed and I will come back to you guys and show you guys my outfit before I go.